Bergdahl, Obama's traitor, stuns the nation, look how he just humiliated Barack. America was stunned by the story of Army Sergeant Bo Bergdahl. This soldier who abandoned his post in Afghanistan was treated like a hero by then-President Barack Obama, who traded captured terrorists for his release. Most Americans were upset that the president would work to free a man, who would not have been captured had he not betrayed his duty. It was another strange and confounding chapter that was the Obama administration. Now it looks like Bergdahl is finally facing the music, and it's not going to be pretty. From New York Post Army Sergeant Bo Bergdahl, who was held captive by the Taliban for half a decade after abandoning his Afghanistan post, is expected to plead guilty to desertion and misbehavior before the enemy. Two individuals with knowledge of the case said. Bergdahl's decision to plead guilty rather than face trial marks another twist in an eight year drama that caused the nation to wrestle with difficult questions of loyalty, negotiating with hostage takers, and America's commitment not to leave its troops behind. President Donald Trump has called Bergdahl a no-good traitor who should have been executed. Bergdahl was a 23-year-old private first class in June 2009 when, after five months in Afghanistan, he disappeared from his remote infantry post near the Pakistan border, triggering a massive search operation. Videos soon emerged showing Bergdahl in captivity by the Taliban. In May 2014, he was handed over to U.S. Special Forces and a SWAT for five Taliban detainees at the Guantanamo Bay prison, fueling an emotional U.S. debate about whether Bergdahl was a hero or a deserter. As critics questioned whether the trade was worth it, President Barack Obama stood with Bergdahl's parents in the White House Rose Garden and defended the swap. The United States does not leave our men or women in uniform behind, Obama declared, regardless of how Bergdahl came to be captured. The Taliban detainees were sent to Qatar. Bergdahl's capture and release was another moment for Obama to virtue signal. He stood beside the traitor to show off just how compassionate and understanding a president he was. Yet that was not what most Americans were thinking when they looked at that scene. Why should we give up men who plotted to kill Americans, to save a man who willfully betrayed his duty, his fellow soldiers, and the country he swore to protect? He wouldn't have been captured by those savages, had he stuck to his orders. Obama's support of a traitor in the way encapsulated his presidency and the left in general. He spent resources and effort to help a man who disrespected his country while many more who risk their lives and die for it, both soldiers and police, are ignored and disrespected. Now, with a guilty plea, Bergdahl is going to face the full brunt of the military justice system. Most likely he will be sentenced to life in jail. I know there are many in the armed forces who think he deserves much worse, 